Hey designers, in this video, we're going to create a parallax effect in After Effects using just a video and a picture. Now, what is a parallax effect? Basically, it gives the illusion of depth by moving background and foreground elements at different speeds. Let's jump right into it. I've created a 1080 by 1920 composition. Let's import both the image and the video. These files are downloaded from Pexels, and I'll be sharing the download links with you so you can follow along. First, drag and drop the image onto the timeline. As you can see, it's a large image, so let's scale it down. Select the image layer, press S for scale, and adjust it until it fits nicely into the composition. Now, with this image layer selected, we're going to mask out the man and the surface he's sitting on. So make sure your image layer is selected, then grab the pen tool. Using the pen tool, carefully draw around the man to create the mask. Okay, once you've made the selection, you'll notice that only the area we masked is visible now. Next, with this layer still selected, grab the selection tool and move the masked portion slightly downwards, just like this. Then, let's scale it up a bit to cover any white space around the edges. Now, to soften those sharp edges around the mask, select the layer again, and in the search bar, type Mask Feather. Here it is. Let's increase the feather value to make the edges blend more naturally. That looks good. Now, drag and drop the video layer onto the timeline. Place it below the image layer. As you can see, it's a huge video file. Now, let's create a new camera layer. You can see the default settings here. Just press OK. Next, we'll create a new null object. And the reason we're doing this is simple. We'll parent the camera to the null object. This allows us to control all the camera movements through the null, giving us more flexibility and easier control. So take the parent pick whip from camera one and drag it onto null one to parent the camera to the null. Now make all the layers 3D. If you don't see the 3D option, just press F4 on your keyboard to toggle between the switches and modes. You can also click these icons here. Now let's switch the workspace from one view to two views. On the left side, I've set it to top view, and on the right, we're keeping it on active camera. Now select the video layer, and we're going to change its Z position, basically moving it far back into 3D space. After moving the video layer back in Z space, you'll notice it looks smaller. That's because it's now farther away from the camera. So press S for scale, and scale it up until it fits nicely in the frame again. The video ends at the 6 second mark. So move the playhead to that point and press N to trim the timeline so it ends there. Next, select Null 1 and press P to bring up its position property. Click the stopwatch next to position to add your first keyframe. Now move the playhead to the 4 second mark and add another keyframe. Then move the playhead to the 6 second mark and add another keyframe here as well. Now go all the way back to the first frame. Here, let's change the Z position to bring the camera closer. You can also adjust the X and Y positions depending on what area you want to show at the start. That's looking much better now. By the time we reach the 4 second mark, the man should come into the frame. Then at the 6 second mark, we'll adjust the Z position again to slightly zoom out.
This way, both the cliff and the man get a bit smaller, creating a smooth parallax zoom-out effect. Once that's done, you'll notice that you may need to adjust the scaling of both the image and the video. So let's go ahead and tweak the scale first. And if needed, we'll adjust the position too. Take your time to align both layers properly. Now, let's adjust the scale of the video as well to make sure everything blends together smoothly. Next, select all the keyframes on Null 1 and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Now go into the Graph Editor for some fine tuning. Let's preview the animation first. We're aiming to make this area, where the man and the cliff enter the screen, look smoother. So let's adjust the speed graph accordingly. This is the curve we need to focus on. Drag the handles like this and adjust this one as well to smooth out the transition. Zoom in a bit so you can get that perfect curve. Let's preview it again. Very nice. It looks a bit angled, so we'll smooth it out to make it straighter like this. That way, the animation flows nicely without any sudden jumps or glitches. Now preview the animation. I think the image with the man still needs to be scaled up just a little. Let's scale it up slightly. Now, switch from two view to one view, and also change the resolution from third to full for a clearer preview. To match the colors better between the image and the video, let's apply a quick color correction. Select the video layer, go to Effects and Presets, and search for Lumetri Color. Drag and drop the Lumetri Color effect onto the video layer. Now under Basic Correction, slightly increase the temperature to give it a warmer look. There we go. Looks much better and blends nicely with the image. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Ace Designs for more content like this.